Get ready to discover the underground strategies for making real money and creating a life of passion and reward in real estate. It's hardcore, it's no BS, it's Agent on Fire. I'm Casey and my daddy is a rock star. Welcome to Agent on Fire. I'm Mike Costigan, the Agent on Fire. And the guy that's going to teach you how to make, well, walletfuls of cash in the real estate business. And how am I going to tell you to do it? Well, you know how already, right? It's with listings. Look, this business is so easy. It's very little risk to you. It's not even your money, right? We are using the seller's property. They've invested the money, paid the payments every month, kept it up, cut the grass. We just got to sell it. And how do we sell it? Well, we put a sign in the yard. It's not much more to it than that. Let's be real. It is what it is. You get a sign in the yard in a good market and the house looks good and you're in the right price range. It's going to sell. You're going to collect some commission. Very little risk on us. But you got to play the game right. And if you're somebody who wants to run around with buyers and kill yourself, well, have at it, but you're in the wrong place. In fact, I don't work with those people. I would say you are destined to lose in this business, and I just don't like losers. I've sold thousands of homes. I've been featured in books, magazines, newspapers, TV, you name it. I received about every word you can get. Sold thousands of homes, and mostly because I list. And you'd be surprised to know that I have more free time than most real estate agents ever will because I don't do the time suck stuff like buyer. So focus, and it's really easy to do. You just have to make a decision to change. Right to shift your focus on listings. And there's not much to this. In fact, I'm gonna show you some really easy ways of doing this. I've compiled for you a list of seven ways to immediately go out and get some listings and, and get them in 30 minutes or less from the time you talk to them to the time you planted the sign in the yard and charge more commission while you're doing it. More than you've ever charged, more than anybody in your marketplace charges. Another mindset shift, and it's very, very easy. I don't care how great your market is. It's easily done. It's just a shift in thinking. Well, if anybody can shift your thinking, it is me. And I'm also gonna let you have a free copy of my Agent on Fire Blaze monthly paid newsletter because I am grateful to help you and that's the best way frankly that I could really help you so speaking of wallet fulls of money let's talk about something scary let's talk about getting pickpocketed at listing appointments and don't tell me you haven't done this because it's happened to all of us even me I feel like I'm the king of listings but I've done this never again I learned quickly and you're gonna learn quickly who pickpockets you? Sellers. You see the cocky today, aren't they? We've got a listing shortage market, crisis levels across the country. Sellers are arrogant. They know they can get money for their home. They know they can likely sell quickly. They know that other agents will cut their commissions. And they're going to go after you. That's what they do. And they normally pickpocket you right there as you're sitting in their home on their territory. Oh, boy, I hate the thought of this, right? Those little crooks, I'm gonna crack them over the head with a bat. Can't do that. Just gotta collect their money at closing. So look, how do you avoid this? First of all, you have to remember, the only reason they will ever do this with success, doesn't mean they won't try, they'll try, but the only reason, the only way it'll happen is if they don't see value. See, when you give value, price doesn't matter. It's a non-issue give value, it's totally relative to price. They don't want to lose you. So how do you avoid this? Well, there's two places you should be avoiding this. And this should actually be cut off before you get to the property. You see, agents don't do this. Agents are weak. They may hurt your feelings, may ruffle some feathers, but agents, let's just say salespeople in general, well, they're weak. Let's take a listing appointment. For example, how do you define a listing appointment? If you're like most, you'll say it's an appointment to be interviewed about getting a listing. And well, that would make you weak and you're going to get pickpocketed. How I define a listing appointment is an appointment to list a house. Like get the listing, sign in the yard, check in my pocket, 
done deal. Talk to you the next day with an update of how we're doing. That's my intent. That's a listing appointment. It's not an interview. I don't need to be interviewed. We know I'm the best at what I do. So I'll come over and list. If not, well, move on to somebody else. You see, it's in the setup, right? I don't say any of this sarcastically either. I'm not joking. Okay, this is attitude. This is intent. I know that I have the best product for them, the best service. I am the best option for them. And they need to know this too. So there's a way that we do this before we ever go over there. First of all, you get in that mindset that I am going over there to list. And you speak in presuppositions when you're talking to them. I'm not going into the little psychology lesson today. I will save that for later. But the way you speak to them on the phone communicates your intent. So when I come over Wednesday at four o'clock, you'll have the listing, you'll have the warranty deed on the table, so I can copy that for the listing and the keys for the lockbox, so I can hang that on the door while I'm there. The whole thing's going to take me about 30 minutes. We'll be in and out. I'll take a look at your house, give you the price range. You can choose the price. You choose the price, not me. And I will sign the paperwork, have it in the yard, and we'll have you ready to go. See you Wednesday. It's a whole lot different than how many agents you're interviewing. Make sure I'm the last so you can hear everything they say. No, no, no. I'm coming over to list your house. You see, they've already made the commitment. And when you get people to commit, generally, they live up to their commitments. So they've already made their decision. There's no interviewing others. They know, just like you know, that they're coming, you're coming to list their house. Period. See, if you've established this right up front, and I know this is a total reversal in thinking. We're used to get in the door and then close them down. No, no, no. You know, when you learn what my Agent on Fire's Blaze subscribers know about what I call mass attraction marketing, which is headlines with outrageous offers backed up by congruent conversations infused with a little NLP and hypnosis. You don't have to understand it. I tell you what to say. When you combine those two things and use the mass listing market, the mass attraction marketing formula, and then you have this, you have this little conversation on the end of it, you're a done deal. Commitments made, sold, you're in and out 30 minutes, you charge whatever you want to charge. It's that easy. So there's a little problem sometimes. Sometimes you'll get there and you'll have a seller that says, you know, Mike, this all sounds great. I am ready to rock and roll, but so-and-so will do it for X percent. I'm not going to talk percents. You could charge whatever you want. Commissions are totally negotiable. I don't care if you charge nothing. You charge whatever you charge, or you charge a million dollars a list. I don't care. It doesn't matter. The point is, you hold whatever you charge. Don't give a penny. But they'll say, hey, but so-and-so said they'll do it for X, X percent less than you, Mike. So there's a way to avoid this, and there's a way to cut it off. So the way to avoid it is, A, number one, you've already talked about it. We've killed it. It's already not even a question before you get there. But if they bring it up, you never discuss your commission at all at the appointment. See, when you learn the formula that I teach you're just there to sign them up. You're going to do exactly what you said. You're going to show up. You're going to walk through the house. You're going to show them a price range. They're going to choose the price range. And you're going to say, okay, here's the price you chose. Here's the dates we're going to list it. Here's the price you chose. Here's what you're, here's what you're paying. No discussion. I'm pointing it out. I'm moving fast. Here's what you're paying. Here's the uh, terms of the agreement. And if you'll sign right here, I'll go ahead and get you on the, on the thing. I don't say if you'll sign right here. And you just sign right here. Boom. I put it in front of them. When you become really smooth at this, again, it has to start with that conversation. But when you become very smooth at the moving through the process of going to the listing appointment, doing exactly what I tell you to do, having them sign exactly the way I tell you to sign, it rarely comes up. But when it does come up, there's a statement you can say to squash it and take that sucker's hand out of your pocket and off of your stinking wallet your lady out of your purse right and it's really just seven words and i'm not going to tell you exactly what they are because that's what i teach in agent on fire but i'm going to tell you that you can cut it off but it's effectively just saying basically i'll help you do that 
but it won't be me. Chew on that a little bit. Look, this is so easy. Change your mindset. Work on the first part and I'll teach you an agent on fire blaze. I'll teach you the second part. It really is that good in the agent on fire blaze. And like I promised, I'm going to give you these secrets for free right now. You just got to change your mindset about doing this all yourself and not learning and just go learn. So I'm going to give you the seven ways to list properties in 30 minutes or less and charge more than anybody else without question every time all you have to do. And whoa, whoa, whoa. On top of it, I'm going to give you a free issue of the paid Agent on Fire Blaze newsletter where you can learn all these little secrets and these little seven word phrases and everything else that I've used to list and sell thousands of homes. All you have to do is go to agentonfire.com on the homepage. See lots of video tips like this, but you'll see a big box just says enter email, first name and email address. Enter it in, instantly have access to all of it. I'm taking you to the promised land here without you having to do or pay anything. Listen, on a serious note, I am really grateful to be able to give back to you, to a community, an industry that has been so good to me and my family. I have a wonderful life, uh, more free time than anybody that I know because of this industry while enjoying a fantastic financial living because of all the homes I've sold and the things I've learned. So because I've done this, I'm going to literally give it to you. So just go to agentonfire.com right now Fill in a little form, download your stuff. Tune in next time where I'll give you another tip that, I don't know, could radically change everything that you do. Thanks for being with me. Take care. Talk to you soon. Bye.